uh, just the story, the scre screenplay. I like the, the screenplay. It was, uh, it, uh, Rob had it on his desk. Uh, and he says there's an interesting story about Hoover. And I said, when, and is this President Hoover or, or what? And he said, no, J. Edgar Hoover. I said, oh, yeah, great. And having grown up with J. Edgar Hoover, uh, uh, because he was there all of my lifetime, uh, he was always the head of the FBI. And um, so I thought that would be interesting. So I went home and read it. Sometimes when you pick up a script, you just uh, instinctively feel it might there may be something hidden in there between the pages. And so I, I went home and read it, and I, I really liked it. So I called up uh, Brian Grazier, who had given it to us, and uh, I said, um, uh, what's the matter? Universal doesn't want to do this? Because he's tied up over there. And he said, well, they're uh, you know, in a position where they weren't quite sure what they, they wanted their next move was. And, um, so I said, let me take it to Warner Brothers. So I took it over to Warner's, and, and, uh, and then, then Leo uh, called up and expressed interest in, in the project, and because he had read it. Um, and so everything just fell in together. Then all of a sudden, there we were with Leo. And then, uh, so we just, a couple weeks later, we were preparing it. Well, uh, you know, I, I didn't know too much about him, and you, after you study it and you go back and you read all the books on him, uh, you, you still have to make your own impressions of him because he was kind of a mysterious character. And um, he, uh, I think, um, I think is very, um, but, but, but interesting, interesting guy, and you didn't know where he was coming from except that he loved uh, investigative uh, material and, and started, the investi uh, started the Bureau of Investigation and later became the Federal Bureau. And he went and lobbied for uh, arms so they could be regular policemen. And, um, and, it and it just sort of materialized. And 48 years later, he was still doing it. Well, we found out that he, uh, you know, there was always a lot of controversy, a lot of rumors uh, about him because he was a solitary guy or he, he trusted not too many people. Obviously, Clyde Tolson was his inseparable friend and, uh, and, and Helen Gandy was his uh, loyal assistant and uh, they had, um, and she was with him the whole time and they sort of all grew up together or grew old together and they, uh, and he did a lot of, he manipulated a lot of things around to, to work for him. And I guess he had to manipulate in the political world, which was kind of tricky, but he managed to stay there. And he, uh, a lot of people I've talked to thought he was a very uh, affable person, very uh, pleasant to work with. And a lot of people thought he was a son of a bitch. And so it just depends on what side of the law or or him that you were, you were you were on. It seemed like he was sometimes tough on people that had done well uh, there. He seemed like that he he took most of the glory for for um, things that were going on with the FBI and and their successes. And uh, I don't know if he took the glory on on any failures or not, but. He, even after doing the picture and reading all the books that Lance Black had read to that, to get the information, uh, I, I still uh, I still think of him somewhat as a mystery mystery man.